angel of the waters, the fountain of purification and healing, where all things can be born anew. That's what dreams are. They're the one thing that connects us all. Your desire to understand the thoughts of this being have awoken it from whatever was binding. Yeah. I want to take out my little hair styling comb and start going at these tails, trying to get the tails out. <laughs> My children, uh, you have a new non-douchebag king now. The rat king defeated, you hold his crown in your hands. Something came and tore me off. The rat king was there and he dragged me away, but... But it wasn't the rat king else, that tore you off? No. To tear me off of that fountain, you would need powerful magic. What were we doing? The wedding! <laughs> Welcome back to the Unsleeping City. My name is Brennan Lee Mulligan. Here are Intrepid Heroes. Say hi, Intrepid Heroes. Hi, Intrepid Heroes. Oh, gosh. Uh, last we left our brave adventurers off, they were deep in a cistern, covered in grime and mold and muck, fighting against the Rat King himself. Yeah. Uh, being victorious over the Rat King, now holding the crown of the Rat King, you guys liberated M. The Angel of the Waters, the statue My of Bethesda girl. Fountain. Your girl, uh, who cleaned you guys off, healed you. Uh, an incredible bit of dream magic from uh, Pete waking M up. Uh, and she flew off back to Bethesda Fountain. You guys are in your nice wedding duds, drenched but sweet smelling with a little bit of help from M, hmm. uh, purifying you guys of all the filth and, and piss. Uh, what do you guys do here in the sewers? Um, Wait, let's take a look at this crown. Is this crown? Yeah, yeah. I think I was oh, wearing it. Right. Yeah, you guys want to, uh, yeah, let's check out what is you this? You can keep wearing it. I mean, we, if yeah, you, you guys seem wanna, like I'm you really little. Like you guys it. can just look at my head. Um, <laughs> look at my head. What Kingston, is this thing? Kingston, weren't you talking about that guy who um, puts valuable things up his butt? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. It's, fine. it's that guy who comes in here all the time. Yeah, there's a guy who comes into the hospital a lot who puts stuff up his butt. I'm yeah. saying we Do you could... think it came out of his no. butt? I don't think you can fit a crown up there, buddy. That's not my point. My point is maybe he might have some perspective on Lowell. Can I do yeah, a, go like a wisdom check or something on it? Uh, you want to do an insight check onto the crown? Yeah. Be my guest. Sweet. Ooh. 24. Ooh. 24. Very cool. Uh, Murph, do you have the card over I there? I do. Uh, you get a bead on this and get the sense that, yes, this is a magical crown. Whether or not it's been up a single individual's butthole <laughs> is hard to say. Right. All right. In all likelihood, given the state of wear and tear on the crown, this thing could have been up any number of puddles. Um, I used to do uh, I used to do colonics at the salon. Can I do an insight check to see Sorry, if it's been you're up? A salon I was just trying to see if it was magic, <laughs> but do you want to see if it's... it is? Uh, it, it is very magical. Got it. Yes. Hey, can we get out of this dirty ass sewer? <laughs> I can we? Can we have we can have this conversation? There might be some more cool stuff. I just started going through. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh my God. Uh, all of you guys head tromping out of the sewers. Uh, you arrive back, uh, having been dried off through the long period of coming down through the sewers, maybe a little bit of magic here and there to help, because you get out and it is freezing cold. The sun has set, it is December in New York. Little strips of snow hang out here and there, but snow often doesn't hang around, even if it stays cold in New York for very long. Mm -hmm. um. You arrive in the manhole cover that you exited from back near the ramble where you can presume that the reception for the wedding is just beginning, and you see Bethesda Fountain cracked in half. There is a blasted streak of soot and ash across it, and you see M there on her knees looking at the fountain, tears running down her face. Uh, oh, go. I mean, I run to yeah. help her. I say, you know what? Honestly, I have, I have fixed worse hairdos than this. You see, she sort of laughs a little bit to herself and says, "I, I don't understand. I've guided this fountain since it was put here, at the beginning of the park. I was the guardian of the waters. I was with the Rat King the whole time." It couldn't have been him. Why did you have to 
guard it to begin with? Who would you be protecting it from? She looks down and says, New York can be a tough city. There are a lot of odds stacked against the average person here. This fountain represented a change in the course of the city, both in terms of I was modeled to look like, you know. A million bucks. Thanks. <laughs> you see, she says, I was modeled after a washerwoman, not a, not a member of the aristocracy. This place was supposed to be a fountain to bring people joy. I was supposed to guard the healing waters here. And, you know, they hired a woman to design me. That's a big you deal. You can right? tell. They, you can tell. You've got a woman's it's touch. It's a touch. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> you a feminist? Yeah, I think that's great. <laughs> I am a feminist. I oh definitely God. have to interrupt this. Um, OK. <laughs> uh, in, <laughs> what was, so you said healing waters. What was like the significance? Because I remember I had that vision where the baby told me Great that baby. people come here with dreams. Everyone came here with a dream. Oh, darling, this... people have been coming here with dreams for 400 years. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What year did the Bethesda Fountain get installed? One second. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to put you on the spot real quick. Yeah, what do you make your dome? What do you what you mean? Mean? No, I can tell you. Specifically I can tell you the, the reason I'm asking. I can tell you the reason I'm asking because maybe you don't even need to do I it. I actually do know, and okay. it was 1864. Mm. 1864. How 1864. old are you? Lady never. How? Sophia. Um, Excuse you, yeah. Well, I, we're all comfortable here. I'll say how old I am. I mean, look, was I here in 1964? Sure, absolutely. I'm kind of. Do you remember going. getting installed? Uh, Is there like a... so many lifetimes one just forgets? Okay. See that uh, M says. The point I'm trying to make is this: to answer your question, the waters that were put here were meant to be a source of divine magic in the city, and. Anytime you have a city like New York that's very cosmopolitan, it tends to tap into a divinity that is neutral for everybody. And there are ways to abuse that if you're not careful. These waters are not only about healing, they're also about purification. People can come here and anoint themselves start a new life. I can't tell you how many times someone's walked through this park and come by this fountain and decide to turn around for the better. But in a concentrated dose, it could also be used to purify, I don't know, anything. Whoa. Like something Whoa. evil? Yep. Like someone who was on the naughty list. Someone who escaped. Can I do an inside check, like, to look for clues around this, like, the fountain? Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I would also like to do that. What was that face you made when I said naughty list? Uh, I got a 25. 25? Like... Hell yeah. Um, uh, you scooped some of the soot off of the thing. Uh, you've been around a long time. Smell it. Um, this <laughs> soot is not burnt stone or wood. This is old, cremated flesh. Jesus Christ. <gasps> uh, congrats. Hey. Oh, hey. What's, what's that? Uh, this is a person. Hmm. Oh. Uh, th this is not the, this is the cremated ra remains of, of uh, Oh uh, my God. I take somebody out a ritual. In, somebody got I take out a, fountain? a bunch of like bags of coke and dump them out and then can I like, collect some of these remains? Like to oh, like, in, in, like to get a like a, a sample. I flip it inside oh out. Oh my and god! Then I put... The ultimate sacrifice. Please. Yeah, I mean, remember, it almost all got ruined. In a way, this is all. I mean, Wait, here, do you, you guys want to do something? Are you going to snort no. some kind of dead demon person? No, no, I want to no, keep it so like, that we can test it. It's like it. evidence. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought we were going to snort it. I was going to say, I'll do it with you. Oh, Congrats, you can have some grass. glow if you want. Honestly, I don't, I don't touch this wanna, stuff anymore. I kind of want to know what happens if I snort the guy. I'm sorry. I don't I'm think that's what. I'm a rat. 
I'm that's sorry. That's not a rat thing. It's <laughs> not. I'm the rat king. Okay. The but on the point ground. is, these are not recent remains. These are the, remains. These are the ancient remains. But well, maybe we can do body. some sort of test. I don't oh, know. I'm just I, bet I agree. I think, I think this, this is a good move. Okay. I think that's Wait, a really good move. I have like three bags ashes. of remains. Uh, little. Young man, I know that you're uh, new to this, but mm. don't you have some kind of detect magic as a sorcerer? What is that? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. Should I? Uh, I can ask to be able to use that. I guess. <laughs> Um, absolutely. Um, uh, you, uh, you do have detect magic, don't you? I do have detect magic. I just don't know how I would. Oh, uh, oh no, I have detect thoughts. Okay. Oh, you, you don't, don't have, have detect magic. magic. Right. I don't have detect oh. magic. Maybe I have it. I know uh. I'm not a healer, but maybe that's my magic. Sophie. I put so. my hands on it. <laughs> Sophie, your magic is that you're a wonderful person and you jump really good. Do I get anything? Uh, go ahead and roll me a pure luck check. <laughs> 14. Down. Uh, hey, you put your hands on there and you hear a whispering. Oh my God. Sophie. Oh my you, God. You should, you should stand up. And you see Em's talking in your ear. <laughs> you gotta stand up. It's not, it's not gonna okay, happen. I'm no, sorry. you're okay. I, yeah. Thank no, you, thank you, it's fine. Do you want I'm me to just. I'm a detect magician. Go to a, like a hardware store nearby and maybe we can get this thing patched up. The whole fountain? Yeah, I don't know. I could, uh, I could stay here if you guys. <laughs> Look, my family, no? my family okay. works I in think construction. That we could maybe yeah. help in some other way. You see, M, M looks out and says, "I look. If all of you are too kind to rescue me and then offer to help right here, I can't be here. I have to find a way to get back in touch with the waters." Can we take you to the the reservoir or Washington Square Park or somewhere else like that? You could always stay at my place. Do you live in a fountain? No, I'm on Staten Island. I'm gonna go to Washington Square Park. <laughs> Great. And uh, no one wants to go to your place, Sophie. I'm the, really the, sorry. The ferry is so quick. Well, I can fly, so it's not okay, about that. Right. But I'm gonna go to Washington Square Park to figure something out. Be careful. Be safe out there. You too. Thank you for everything you've done. Something's going on. Hey, let us know if you need any more help. Toots. I know I could always count on you. She takes off into the sky. Uh, you hear the faint sort of uh, twinkle of music coming from off in the ramble as the wedding continues. Uh, well, let's go. I'm going to this wedding. Going to wedding. Yeah. 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 This is the bread wedding. The pigeons are going to get off. I'm uh, predicting it. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really good point. I feel like it didn't the get the right wedding attention. Because it's that's bad good. for birds that's to good. eat their bread. Yeah. Thank you. I thought it was really right. good stuff. I, I thought birds could eat bread. I think they don't. They eat bread. Really that's what the thing is. Really oh, get to tell I got it. I'm sorry. 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 i am People are now out in the tent. The dance floor is getting cleared out. You see, as you enter back in, surrounded by other pixies, they're all hanging out on a mostly empty hors d'oeuvres tray that an ogre is holding. <laughs> you see that uh, Don Confetti, no longer in the cottage, looks up at you and goes, Huh, it looks like you found your way back to the wedding. Funny. Is it uh, appropriate in your various cultures to say hi to wedding? Uh, leave for the entire ceremony and then come back to enjoy the free food and drink? I am I mean, I'm fascinated that during your daughter's wedding, you were scanning the crowd to see who was in attendance. Darling, the show must go on. Sometimes things happen and you have to improvise and that's what's so exciting about life. Give me a persuasion check real quick. I like her answer better. <laughs> <Nor mine. laughs> uh, I got 20, not Nat. Not Nat. Uh, you see, he goes, I suppose I don't have an understanding of 
how actors and various other hooligans <laughs> and theater people conduct their business. But you're welcome to avail yourself to all the food and tasty treats here. Many of them are quite small, although, of course, that is to be expected because I and my family are very teeny tiny. <laughs> teeny tiny in stature, but big in character and importance. You have spoken truly, Mr. Moore. A friend, as always, to the Pixies and the entire Confetti family. Please help yourself to some cupcakes. And also we have, I believe, uh, some cannolis that are being passed around right now. Mm. They are, you, you do, I'm eating one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good, right? We got mm. it from Gianella's over in Brooklyn. They do a great cannoli. Oh, you should try it at a Spaghetti's. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening in Staten Island? <laughs> a bakery spaghetti. named Spaghetti. Is it your last I'm sorry, I, I have to, I have to raise least. a point. Is it your last name? Did you just the Italian word for bicycle? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, woof. you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> your last okay, name is you Confetti. Yeah, watch out, Confetti. Yeah, yeah, you oh, confetti. got a problem with my last name? No, you I guys hear it all the time. <laughs> There's a bunch of little, little tiny guns. Little tiny guns that all these pixies cock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I grab my gun. Hey, I take my hearing back. Everybody, hey, everybody. Let's go. No, everybody. I, I use minor illusion to throw confetti up into the air. It's a celebration. Your name is a celebration. Ah, She's the so symbol good. of our name. Beautiful. Confetti. Little pieces of paper to mark a celebration and then it gets stuck in the street and then all the gutters and stuff. All right, help yourself to the food. All right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> wow, that almost went real sad. <laughs> Let's not get shot. Yeah. That's Do fair. you bake spaghetti? I don't know. <laughs> There's a bakery called Spaghetti. Oh, it's, <laughs> Joey Spaghetti. It's really good. It's honestly not bad. Um, uh, I'm going to need everybody here to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh -oh. uh, 22. Oof. 18. 18. I get advantage 17. on all wisdom saving throws, right? Four. Um, Dual soul. Four, gotcha. 15. 15. And what did Sophia get? 17. Cool, gotcha. Wow. Um, right? Wise crew. Yeah. Wise crew. Here we go. <laughs> Two wise crew. Yeah. <laughs> wise crew. Wise <laughs> oh, can I use a lucky point? You can use lucky point. Okay, <laughs> great. Two wise. Oh. Not one. Oh. 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 Go with the eight. Go with? Um, do you get wisdom advantage? You get advantage on all wisdom saving throws, or what does it what does it say? Enchantment in possession. This is not enchantment. So you oh, do not then get okay, eleven, and then my wisdom. Wait, should I use another lucky uh, wisdom save? Thirteen. Plus two, Thirteen. Thirteen. It might be gotcha. something small. Um, cool. Uh, you guys are hanging out at the wedding. Uh, uh, the reception is starting. You guys see that the tent is full. Uh, Angela, the bride, is saying hi to everyone. She looks so oh happy. Um, she's got. No shock here, a little pixie cut that comes over one of her uh, eyes. Um, she looks so happy. You see that uh, an announcer uh, who looks to be this uh, sort of, you know, little uh, cricket-legged fairy with like a little tux jacket on goes, all right, all right, all right, let's clear that dance floor for our first dance between the bride and groom. Give it up for Angela Confetti and Ronald Pigeon. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. <laughs> um, you guys see that uh, Angela steps out on the floor, makes an earnest attempt to start dancing with Ronald. He's about <laughs> as big as she is, but Ronald can mostly just pigeon around. He can't really dance. Uh, so he's just kind of jutting higgledy-piggledy over the dance floor, and she kind of twirls and little bits of glitter around her as this happens. Uh, I start trying to like palm people different like pill cocktails, because that's just how I bond at like a wedding. Uh, <laughs> You're uh, gonna need this. This is reminding me of my first dance with Dale, so I'll take one. Uh, There's a bunch of good stuff in there. There's about five different cool. pills. Um, you pops no. up. Um, uh, anyone who wants to can make a perception check. No, I will. I don't think I'm very perceptive. Oh, I got it now. One. 21. 23. 18. Perception. Cool. Or, uh, you got um, I got 18. 18, cool. Um, uh, so, M Misty, what's Misty doing here at the reception with a nat one on a perception? <laughs> I mean, I'm just drinking champagne, baby. You're just talking, like you dancing like this, like a like a real cool old lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Misty, you're having a ball because you're just holding court and making someone else's wedding kind of about yourself, and <laughs> and the only one Misty. who was invited. Are you, are you wearing white? <laughs> <laughs> it's an awful. 
off-white. It's a, it's a cream. <laughs> it's and pretty. It's be glowing. So rude. It's a beautiful uh, dress. Look, no. lace is. Um, say it, it's a traditional in my family to wear lace to other people's weddings. And I think who got so, some people 18, got. I got twenty-one. Oh, twenty-one. Twenty-three. I didn't roll. Uh, go ahead. I don't think I'm very perceptive. You're not perceptive. That's totally yeah. fine. Um, so, uh, with an AC, what's Ricky up to at the reception? Uh, Ricky was like kind of tracked down snacks, and then he was also like, when they started dancing, just was like very curious about th- that image and was sort of <laughs> honed in on that. Um, uh, uh, for those that got above a 20, uh, as you guys are just hanging out here, you all begin to notice a lot of different stuff. Cogrash and Kingston, you specifically notice that there are a lot of different kinds of people here. Uh, in addition to Faye, you see that uh, Rourke uh, Redcap is here, who's one head of the sort of fairy mafia. There's uh, some Domovoy that are like Russian fairies that are over in a corner. Um, uh, there's the band, there seems to be some kind of like water, Nixie kind of spirit. Uh, the consigliere, Grig Prickthorn, is here as well. Um, you also uh, are looking around. Are you guys looking for anything in particular, or are you just like kind of having a good time? I think Cogrash is a little concerned about uh, his friend Ronald Pigeon and the other pigeons getting like offed by these pixies. Cool. So I'm like looking to see if anybody's like. And I, I think I'm thinking more about how all the different things are adding up. Mm-hmm. So I think this just a head on a swivel looking for more weird stuff. Gotcha, cool. Yeah. Um, uh, Kyle, you see that uh, Perry comes over to you and says, Ha ha, hi! Oh, looks like the dancing's getting started a little bit nice. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Perry. Has, well, uh, on, you kind of shake a tail feather? Yeah, we can dance. Uh, yeah, uh, I started doing my dance with Perry. Uh, I just have one dance. Uh, Perry, uh, how have the pixies been uh, treeing you? Oh, we put out so many crumbs. They're such good friends. Yeah. It's so good to see Ronald, you know, like we were all worried for a little while because he had that whole thing with Jessica Pigeon and that was sort of weird for a while. What was up with Jessica Pigeon? Oh, you know, it's one of those things where they met in college and they sort of fell into a pattern and then they got off and sort of changed as people, but it was kind of like good money after yeah, that. Yeah, okay. They had already sunk so much time into the relationship that as they became more and more incompatible, it just didn't seem to make sense anymore. Yeah. And all of our friends, you know, nobody wants to be that first person across the river to sort of mention like, hey, you guys fight more than you get along, so maybe you should guys think about packing it in. You're still in your early 20s, you know, you could actually, you know, find another partner, go out and date around, but it just seems to be that kind of thing where, you know, routine and habits, or every day it gets harder against the weight of all the previous experiences to break out of a bad pattern. It's weird, you're codependent. I stuff a Xanax <laughs> in his mouth as I pass by. <laughs> <laughs> so much Xanax in yeah. one pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> it was a quarter. It was a quarter of a bar. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm sorry if I f***ed that up. Very. Wow. Uh, how does Jessica feel about this wedding? So loose. So loose. Everything's good. She's. You're just good. I'm good. I'm so sorry, dude. I thought I was helping you. I'm sorry. That's the most I've ever gotten out of Perry. Perry was that I got some uppers too. If you want to try to like counterbalance this, don't make a little cocktail of this tiny creature's Um, body. Well, you know what? Why don't we give him a lot of coffee? (laughs) That won't. Well, I got some coffee. I know just what you need. Hey, man. Hey man, you're beautiful. Hey, you're beautiful you're too, man. You're beautiful. Mary. You're great. Can you fly? Uh, no. Here's an upper and just give him that. Uh, I'm flying right now. <laughs> on the ground, first time. Okay, I gotta take a walk. I can't be in here anymore. <laughs> oh, God. 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 <laughs> Perry. God, Perry. Take your drugs. I can't be around all these people. Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> so sorry, man. Uh, Perry leaves. Um, uh, what's uh, so Sophia also got a high perception check. What's Sophia sort of on the lookout for? Okay, well, Sophia is definitely not in her right mind because she is witnessing a happy marriage and it's giving her flashbacks and making her think of Dale. Um, so I think. But possibly whatever she got from Pete is helping her to focus on uh, intellectual things rather than emotional things. And she is, the fact that Mario was here is on her mind. Gotcha. So she's kind of like on the bead for like how and why Mario got here and what the deal was. Yeah, I think she's like scanning, but then something will catch her eye and she'll be like, oh my God. 
It's the same table runner color as ours was. <laughs> Sophia, get it together. With the 21, you notice that the pixies partially recognize you. A couple of them kind of make a look, not in a threatening or intimidating way, but in a way of like, oh, they must know your family. He did know my last name. Knew your last name, exactly. Um, after a certain, after the, the bride dances, you see that they announce the father-daughter dance. Uh, you see that uh, Don Confetti dances with Angelo. You see him there. You see she goes like, oh, daddy, it's so special. It makes a big special day. And he goes, Angela, mine on my life. <laughs> I will win under my little butterfly wings. I love you so much. I don't know why you had to marry a pigeon, but notice if he ever crosses you, He'll be sleeping with the fishes. My fishes, I mean pigeons. They die all the time. They really do die all the time. <laughs> they're not very smart or good at surviving. <laughs> and he says, I love you, Daddy. And they just twirl around a little bit. After that, you see that Angela um, is actually over near you, getting a little drink for herself um, and catching a little moment. Uh, and as she flies past, she turns over to you in her little kind of white, it looks like uh, white leaves that have been like kind of glued or like it's a like very form-fitting little pixie dress. She looks over. David's bridal. How did you know? Oh, I tried that one on. It Honestly, I do not have the figure to pull it off like you, though. You look fantastic. I'm not surprised you don't have the figure to pull it off. You're about 100 times bigger than I am. Well, yeah, you must have had to get that size down a <laughs> lot. Yeah, it was really expensive. My dad paid for it, but it's okay because he's a very successful businessman. Yeah, well, congratulations on your wedding day. Marriage is a beautiful thing. Oh, my God, that's so sweet of you to say. Thank you so much. Yeah. Love your hair, by the way. Thank you. I do it myself. I know it's crazy. A lot of a lot of estheticians don't actually work on themselves, but I do. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Congratulations. Where are you guys gonna honeymoon? Well, there's a lot of rooftops in the city. They have a lot of crumbs on them, so that's where Ronald's interested in going. Well, what about you? I mean, your honeymoon shouldn't just be something that's so specifically for your husband. <laughs> I think he'll end up going probably anywhere, but every time I've asked, he only mentions these rooftops with crumbs on them. Oh, okay. Well, you should definitely look into, uh, you know, Puerto Vallarta. Really? <laughs> yeah. I heard Tulum was really in. A lot of people were going to Tulum. No, Puerto Vallarta is the most beautiful honeymoon you could ever go on. Oh my God, sweetheart, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Mm. All right, well, it's my day, so if you're gonna cry, go yeah. outside. Uh, you see that she <laughs> flies away. Uh, yes. I have a quick question. Was that a wisdom saving throw that we did? It was. Okay, I do get advantage on wisdom saving throws across the board from my plug bracelet. Oh, hell yeah, great. So it isn't dual soul, but, but gotcha. yeah, yeah. So I'm at like an 20 or something. Cool, like cool, cool, cool. I think I'm just trying to sell drugs again. <laughs> Pete, you actually, a uh, guy comes over to you. Uh, you see there's one of the dryads who's been kind of helping out, like almost like a hostess here, comes over and says, uh, are you the plug? Yeah. And points over to a table in the corner. You look at this table. This table appears to have humans at it. Uh... A bunch of humans, they're wearing very formal black suits. Uh, you see there's about three guys in black suits. They look very good looking, pale, um, sort of like uh, sharp, predatory looking people. There's one woman there who's got like a pencil skirt and a black suit top. Um, and you see that there is a much older man who has that vibe that very old businessmen have sometimes of being like made of granite, just in how like <laughs> still and assured he is. Uh, there's another young woman there with them who's wearing a much more colorful gown and looks a lot more like flush, like younger, maybe like early 20s. Uh, her mascara is running a little bit as though she's been crying. Um, and you see that the dryad directs you over to their table. Great. I put on my uh, game face. <laughs> uh, Beautiful night. The old man speaks. You see the other sort of younger people nod their head at you. Uh, the young woman doesn't make any eye contact with you at all. The older fellow looks at you and says, Beautiful night is right. Lovely out here. I always enjoy New York in the winter. Nights get along and... You can't see the stars, but you can feel them out there. Yeah. 
Totally. Great party. I'm having a great time. You guys having a good time? We could be having a better time. I agree. What can I get you? Well, uh, I think we'll take, uh, let's see, a brick of uh, your finest snow, my young man. Great. All right. Uh, Don't accidentally give them the cream. (laughs) (laughs) I'm digging through and trying to separate, like, the full-on ashes. (laughs) Okay, they're all in really dark bags. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, yeah, I, uh, I pull out, like, an insane amount of blow. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see that the guy nods to one of the younger people at the table, and this young man hands you crisp, fresh-from-the-bank notes. Cool. Uh, I don't count them. I'm just someone. Like, mm-hmm. uh, puts them away. Um, you see that the young woman... Uh, sort of looks up a little bit. The other woman, very sort of like slim and kind of, again, all business looking, takes the brick, cuts it open with one of her nails, just, uh, and begins to do out some lines, not in front of herself, but in front of the young woman at the table. Um, You see that uh, the older man looks up and says, care to do something with this? I would love to, man. And as I do that, can I cast subtle spell with detect thoughts on this person by using a sorcery point? Hell yes. Awesome. Uh, Okay, so subtle spell, I don't have to move anything and no one can tell. You don't move your mouth, you don't move your hands, nobody can tell you're casting a spell. That's so sick. Um, That uh, is awesome. Hell yeah. Um, Rad. I got a roll some Does that mean that they don't have a chance to save against it because they don't know that's happening? They do still save against it. And this is, are you casting on the, the girl that they're giving coke to? The, cry, the crying one, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of dice. Um, uh, you see, uh, <laughs> your sense of curiosity begins to move through. Um, you completely glide over all of the people at the table dressed in black, including the old man, Uh, but the mind of the young woman opens up to you. Uh, You feel yourself split between reading her thoughts and the desire to go deeper. So you can either read just her surface thoughts or you can choose to go deeper. If you go deeper, it's gonna require active effort and might up you talking to these guys at the table and give them a chance to notice. True. Okay, can I stay in surface thoughts right now while like doing lines with them and then wait until Absolutely. Like- um you feel the young woman's surface thoughts are going like it's not too much longer. It's not too much longer. It's just another year. All you need is another year. You're going to get out of this. You know other people that have done this and they're all fine. They got what they needed. Um, you see that the old man looks up at you and says, Well, uh, after you, my good man. Great. I do an insanely long line. You see, he looks at you and says, Jesus Christ, you got a nose on you, kid. What are you, half elephant? My God. (laughs) (laughs) No, I just, you know, it's such a great night. What What do you guys do? You're posted in the corner. Why aren't you out there mingling? Uh, you know... I'm uh, an associate of Don Confetti, uh, old business partners. The, uh, I wouldn't want to take up space on the dance floor. Besides, I got two left feet as it is. <laughs> yeah, definitely, you're telling me. You seem like a sports guy. You play anything? Do I play any sports? I used to play stickball back in the day, but that was a long time ago. Very cool, very cool. He looks over at you and says, uh, how about yourself? What's your name, friend? Uh, I'm Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Rob. Nice to meet you. Great. Great to meet you, too. Uh, he looks over at you and says, uh, so, I imagine you're going to be, uh, what, writing this wedding off on your taxes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? They, I heard I heard they're trying to pass some sort of law uh, that's, that's going to hike up the tax rate for people who are, you, you know, I believe in trickle-down theory, don't you? You look, by the way, and he says, he says, trickle down? He goes, oh, trickle down. Reagan was a genius. Right? Reagan was a I get genius. Him, I'm trying to get, I tried to get him so hyped up on this, and then. I, that man, I mean, what he I did for this I go for, for the deeper country. thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you go into her deep.
deeper thoughts. As you go into her deeper thoughts, um, you see that she starts doing lines off the table. The other three young men and the other young woman at the table, who are all very pale, watch her do lines by herself. And you see that all of them start to tap their fingers. As you go deeper into her thoughts, you see other instances of her going out with these guys, doing drugs, the people surrounding her, fangs distending from their mouth, sinking their fangs into her and drinking her blood. Not enough to kill her, but getting her high enough that they can get a high off of drinking her blood. Okay. By the way, you do not see the old man uh, drinking blood from her. Okay. You see, he looks at you and says, Reagan, he was great. Um, I mean, you know, I never voted for him because I'm not a big voting guy, but I donated uh, like crazy to his campaign. Go ahead. First of all, give me a wild magic roll for that detect thoughts. <laughs> oh no. Two. Two. <laughs> Jesus. Uh-oh. Now it's now it's one and two. Now it's one and two. Um, uh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, could you also be kind enough to uh, give me a deception check? Oh, cool. I think I have good deception. We have plus eight. All right. <laughs> 19 with, what was deception? I do plus these? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's 27. Woo! Uh, Rad. Um, So you see, yeah, he talks to you a little while longer. Um, After the girl's in a couple lines, you see that um, she looks around, makes eye contact with you as her eyes kind of well up with tears, stands up and walks outside with the other four, and it's just you and the old man, Rob. Um, who are here. You see, he looks over at you and says, well, thanks again for uh, being Johnny on the spot here. Uh, And uh, what was it again? Jeffrey. Jeffrey, right. (laughs) (laughs) Wouldn't want to say your real name or uh, bubbles would come out of my mouth, huh? Help. <laughs> uh, I la- I do not let him know that that registered with me. I'm like, oh, sure, buddy. And then I uh, walk away. Cool. Nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rad, uh, what does Pete do as he walks away? Uh, I'm trying to find other people. I'm trying to find Kingston. <laughs> cool. You go over to Kingston. Kingston's head's on a swivel. You're looking around. You've clocked Pete having this interaction. Do I recognize this man? You don't recognize this man. Okay. Pete, what's going on? What the? Okay, we have to talk, but we can't talk here. Okay, you want to dance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Wait, we can dance and talk. <laughs> so we're like dancing. Come on, dance! Oh, great. oh this is perfect. Yeah. Okay, dude, so, those, do you see those crazy people over there? Yeah. All right, so, you know, like, the girl who looks, like, really sad? Uh huh. Okay, I detected her thoughts. It seems like those other three really pale people with her are vampires. Okay. They make her do a bunch of drugs and then they suck her blood to get high off of her. Okay, that's not that but, crazy. Okay, no, the f-ing crazy thing is, you know hey, that- keep part. dancing, I'm right? so, I'm, This isn't a dance. All right. <laughs> so, you know like that older guy? Uh-huh. Okay, dad, I think that maybe that was my dad. I'm what? not sure what happened. It's something- I have that man before. Okay, my dad, is a head, and oh. he 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 said someone helped me by making bubbles come out of his mouth and taking him away. So he knew what you he knew what you had done to your father. This old guy knew what had happened to my dad. Have you told he anyone else knew, about your dad? I don't know. Who have I? No, I think I told Alejandro about what happened to my dad. I think? I'm not sure. Do you guys remember me telling this story about my dad and the bubbles? I don't think we've heard this before. It's cool, though. Gotta say, if you can teach me that trick, that's cool. I would do that. Yeah, I think I told you guys, because then someone was like, we can kill him if you want. And I said, yeah, please go ahead and kill my dad. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Somebody in, the, in your head? Yeah, whoever. Uh, Lazarus is, someone evil did this to me and I let them. Okay, I don't like this man in the corner. I, Misty, you got any thoughts? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about running. Is he still there? Can I look you over and see if he's still there? Like I would know everybody at this yes, wedding. Yes, exactly. I you feel like see, anybody uh, I don't know, I don't uh, like them. Yeah, you see that he's now speaking, he's talking to Don Confetti over in the yes. corner, chatting Christ. and laughing with each other. Um, <gasps> 
Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, so I don't know if this is crazy. Okay. Okay, I gotta keep dancing. Okay, um, so what I think happened is you guys know how it, we keep hearing Lazarus is like, I'm leaving today. Uh huh. So. I mean, you keep hearing it and you keep telling us about it. Right, right, right. But anyway, so my dad got carried away because he was a piece and I was fine with it. But what if this Lazarus guy took over? his soul or something, and then use that fountain to like clean it? Something happened with that fountain and cleaning like bad people? I don't know, Misty, do you want to use your connections with Don Confetti to go over and have him introduce Dude, you to this man? That's a great idea. You want to try something like that? Checking in with the other people at the wedding, what are you guys up to, right? I guess we'll go join these, mm -hmm. we see the whole thing. I'm wasted in trying to start a conga line. <laughs> <laughs> no one understands what I'm doing. I guess They're all so case, small. In that case, I grabbed so, so are you doing okay? I'm trying to start a conga yeah. line, but like with their heads. My, I'm <laughs> dancing with my, uh, my date, she's just sort of on my <laughs> this buff, hot firefighter with a pigeon on his chest. It's like my necklace. Incredible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap a picture of that and send it to the girls at the salon and be like, Mr. March as a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but dancing towards them, yeah. I go over to that table and I'm like, Don, who's your friend? And I do that like old lady creep. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. the waist of this guy. Um, cool. Make a persuasion check for me if you'd be so kind. I would love to. Ooh. Can we say that you filled a, you guys filled us in on what uh, you're yeah. talking about? And yeah. actually, I'm gonna need you to make that check with disadvantage. All right. Uh, that was a 16. And this is a 13, so 23. 23, cool. You slide your arm around the guy, feels like a human dude, mm -hmm. older, middle-aged, you know, kind of human guy. Um, uh, you see that Don Capetti says, oh, Mr. Moore, I'm surprised you have not already met my friend Robert. Robert, please say hi to Misty. Uh, you see that this guy, Robert, turns to you and says, uh, Ms. Moore, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, charmed, I'm sure, and I give him my hand like this. Uh, kisses your hand. Uh, you see that Don says, Misty is, of course, a very accomplished stage actress. She is, uh, you know, very famous. Uh, you see that Robert nods and says, I've seen some of your performances. Oh, what a knockout. Thank you so much. It's always great to meet. Uh, I don't even like the word fan, but, but people who enjoy my work. You know, we live in a city of artists. That's mm -hmm. why we're here, you know, and... Oh, it's so important to, to experience so many of the, the things in the city that people miss out on, you know? So what do you do? Uh, oh, I work in finance. I'm a friend of the Dons. Oh, fantastic. You know, finance is also a great hub of this city. We are just, we wouldn't be able to survive without the finance guys. Look, I mean, all of us would love to, to buy into this starving artist myth where you have to be starving to, to make art, but let's be realistic. When you have a nice bed, Everything's a little easier, you know what I mean? Um, and I doubt you've been starving for some time, Miss Moore. Well, you know, I mean, starving is relative. Broke is relative, you know what I mean? But I do fine, I do fine. Mm, I'm sure. Uh, you see, he looks over. Um, the vampires and the young girl who now is, she's like bone pale, like, and kind of like having a hard time standing. Uh, they come out wiping their mouths, um, sit back down, uh, and you see, the, yeah, Robert looks over at you and says, well, you'll have to excuse me. It looks like the other vampires have come back. And he turns around and walks away from you. It's been a pleasure. Don looks over and says, yes, it has been a pleasure. Now if you excuse me, I have to go and verbally harass the DJ because he is playing a bunch of duds and these songs, they're too hard to dance to. I will be right back. Don, you gotta come dance with me, though. I will do what I can, but not this. I only do this because you have asked this favor of me on the day of my daughter's wedding. And you see, <laughs> <laughs> uh, zips away. Um, can can I, I use up my favor? <laughs> I could have had anything. Else. <laughs> can I? I I feel like I, I've heard that something's going on with this girl. It looks really predatory. Her surrounded by these dudes and her looking faint, mm -hmm. I think as like, as like a woman in her 30s, I'm looking at her being like, I, got, I would like to try to help her out. I feel maternal towards her. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm gonna go over there and just say, 
I'm so sorry. I um I need help getting out of this dress to take to pee. Um, do you guys mind if I borrow this sweet girl? I just need it. <laughs> I, it's like such a nightmare getting out of this dress to pee. So I just need a, I need a, a friend in the bathroom. Uh, you see the young one looks up to you and looks at the other people here and says, I'm so sorry, I'm fine, thank you. You're, you're, oh yeah, I'm not worried about you, I'm worried about me and peeing and... Give me a persuasion check. 10. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see that she looks and says, uh, I'm fine, thanks. Pete, are you still reading her mind? Mm-hmm. Um, or, wait, well, am I? Yeah, I believe yeah. probably you are. Um, you read in her mind um, uh, that she actually doesn't want to leave the table. She feels afraid and be and up, but is also like, choosing to be here in some regard or another. Okay, okay, cool. I think I go up to Soph and I'm like, heard you, did I overhear you need some help in the bathroom? They're yes. gender neutral at this wedding. Okay, I can go with you. great. That'd be so helpful. Thank you so much. If you ever need a haircut, you have beautiful hair. And I give her my business oh, card. Uh, can you give me a deception check as well? A nine. Uh, you see that Robert speaks up and says, now, forgive me for being blunt, but you folks aren't worried for the safety of my companion Melissa here, are you? Okay, I'm just gonna lay it out there. First off, I'm a little drunk because I'm going through a divorce and it's hard to be at a wedding. Second off, if I see a young woman surrounded by men who's looking a little sick to her stomach at a place where alcohol is being imbibed at an alarming rate, I'm gonna step in and make sure she didn't get roofied. You see, he nods, looks looks around. Uh, you see, he says, Melissa, you're free to go if you wanna go. She looks over at him and says, I don't wanna go. I pop in, like, she looks like she's having a great time. You guys look like you're having a great time. Sophie. Sorry, I just she's... wanted to make sure someone didn't get roofied. And we need more strong women like you, right? Thank you. And Thank you. Now, will you now help let's me move get on to the next girl? So I can pee? Yeah, of course. Uh, of course. So and Robert says, um, while we're handing out business cards, Jeffrey, do you ever wanna talk? You see, uh, hands you a business card. Okay. Uh, his name doesn't appear on it, but it has a uh, sort of address and the name of like a prominent hedge fund on it. It doesn't say Robert. It's it does not just say a, Robert. Oh, a hedge it's, fund. It's like, it's like a business's business card. It doesn't have his name on it. Can um, you do, do either of you have Detect Good and Evil? I do not. I mean, I have you have protection to, from that. Oh, you have, have protection, but not to take. I feel like I um, had that, but I don't have it anymore. Right? Yeah. I, I think dancing. I'm like really <laughs> triggered by the bubbles comment still, like mm -hmm. with my dad, and I'm just like kind of seething. Cool. I don't know what I'm doing, I but mean, I know I'm angry. That interaction shook me back into place. I'm no longer as upset about the wedding. I'm explaining to you all the detect thought stuff and how okay. she actually wanted to be there. Okay. And so there's some sort of Weird setup. I have a now. Is Kugrash watching this? Yeah, I think we're all kind of circled up. I think yeah. after the, once these guys started dancing, I think we all kind of came together and then we're. Um, cool. You look at this guy, Robert. You've met this guy before. What? You met this guy a long time ago. What do I know about him? You know that he's a very powerful, very dangerous guy who you only met in passing one time. Okay. Does he know Gabriella? Okay. Who's Gabriella? Hey, you know, it doesn't matter. Weird. Mm, this guy's bad news. Okay, I have a theory. I have a theory based off of what, uh, what Pete said. They're laundering souls and selling them to the soulless. What? That's kind what? of brilliant. So I, intense. I, I think that's, that's what that's I think they're doing. I think when I'm like souls and then cleaning them in the Bethesda fountain and then selling them to people who don't have souls, like, like selling passports. Yeah. Uh, I don't I'm, I'm so. I don't. Uh, I. 
I don't know if this is too righty about this, but I think like I'm so worked up about this like Robert guy mm -hmm. and he knows something about my dad and I'm talking to them and I'm like, that fucking guy knows something about my dad. And when I point, I activate True Strike. <laughs> is that uh, possible? Awesome, yeah, that's okay, cool. great. Because I know I it takes it. a whole turn. Uh, roll wild magic for me. Okay, <laughs> one and two. Uh, one and two now. Six. Hey! All right, everybody, let's get Pete. Let's okay, all right, down. I'm let's everybody. Sweet. We about ready to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's true, we are depleted. He, we already had a battle Does he look today. the same as he did back then? Yep. That's... He's a vampire. But, what a good but, couple. But you, in your story, you said you didn't see him drinking the blood. He was the one, it was the other three. Yeah, but he Yeah, might. yeah, so this guy... I'm doing it else. to get I think yeah. this guy... This man. You guys are, by the way, talking very loudly at the wedding hey, right now. Hey, everybody, yeah. uh, why don't we go back to my so, place, all right? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, Macarena. <laughs> we, grab, we grab her. <laughs> um, you guys bounce from As the... we leave, I just want to write a really long, really heartfelt, way too intimate um, thing <laughs> in, like, the wedding book. <laughs> Take the wedding book. Take the wedding book. Okay, <gasps> well, you guys can take me. I'm writing. Oh, I'm still writing in the wedding book. Don't get us killed for a wedding book. No, I'm uh, writing, right. yeah, I'm writing write. about the beauty of marriage. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> can, I, can I leave a $50 check as a gift? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. I also uh, like to can, leave it. I give... I want to just give like a head nod or like a little salute to that guy to see how he reacts to me. Uh, uh, he has no recognition of you at all and looks very confused. Okay. Uh, I leave a couple of tickets for opening night of um, Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> <laughs> like you just Always carry those around? Oh my you God. God. Don't you? No, I don't. I, 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 I add, my, I I add my name to her card. Also, Cug Rush Paul. Also from me. <laughs> uh, um, I guys... asked the wedding planner if there's another guest book because I've filled this one up. <laughs> Uh, you guys proceed to bounce. You see that um, as you're all getting ready to leave, Perry comes over to you, Kagrash. Hey! Uh, what's going on? Hey. Uh, we gotta head out. <laughs> <laughs> I kiss him. Hi, <laughs> 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 Perry. They're like making out. We're like, Kagrash, we gotta go. I know. Incredible. Uh, I oh have one God. more thing. I adjust I, my contacts so I can see better. I know I'm leading them on, but I just, I feel like we got a like short term. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to do the nice thing, the not the right yeah. thing. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, do vampires show up in photographs? Because they, they don't show up in mirrors. Do vampires show do. up in photographs? I don't think they show up in photographs, no. Great. Uh, so can we take a selfie with the vampires and Robert in the background? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does he have Robert's a vampire? That's brilliant. Esther, this is me uh, at the wedding. <laughs> okay, don't send it to anyone. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, and then I look at the picture. Uh, at that table, uh, Melissa shows up, the young woman, and Robert shows uh, okay, up. Okay, okay. Robert does show okay. up. All right, everybody, back to my house. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, okay. You guys dip. Uh, arriving back at Kingston's, uh, what do you guys do when you get there? That guy. Do you, do you think any... your mother has any cinnamon rolls baking or some kind of? My mother. What time is it? <laughs> uh, it's, it's probably like eleven o'clock at night. It's my mother should be in bed. I promise you, if I went down there and asked for cinnamon rolls, she would wake up and <laughs> cook them gladly. <laughs> yeah. We're not doing right. that. Yeah. Do you have any sort of deli meats or anything? I, I just sort of snacked on uh, tiny uh, pixies. What do fruit. I have in my? <laughs> uh, I feel like I have a bunch of fresh vegetables. <laughs> and I, can I make a like a? You a, make a big salad. Yeah, yeah I make a. <laughs> I make a big salad. <laughs> Lots of baby spinach. I chop up some tomatoes, uh, some bell peppers. <laughs> You go to the farmer's oil. market for this? Of course beautiful. I go to the farmer's market. I'm all about celebrating. You know, I'm, I'm like on local. your page. I like start uh, making some hummus in a food <laughs> processor with you. <laughs> you want this cooking? We're all I'm, wet okay, in fine. nice clothes cooking. I'm yeah. making eggplant rollatini. Hey. 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 It's just us three bumping elbows in the kitchen. <laughs> you go to Queens oh for this God. mozzarella? It's mm. delicious. I mean, of course. Only the best. Can I just, as a precaution, use divine sense to see if there's any... You scan the place. No, Kingston's apartment. Seems nice. Pretty. You do detect a very strong undead presence on the top of the refrigerator. It's the mummy, all right? Just It's just the you, mummy, all right? You have a mummy? What? Is this what the obsidian onk is about? Yes, it, yeah, it's from when we fought the yeah. mummy back in the... Uh, oh, the night, darlings, you know? it was so much yeah. fun. Right. The stories what? we have. Yeah, it was I wild. have nightmares really easily. What? What? 
<laughs> well, if you have nightmares recently, shouldn't we not Let's tell you the not scary tell thing we did? About the scary thing that we did. Okay. Yeah, anyway, guys, the that... Metropolitan Museum has so much fascinating stuff in it, and it's free to, I mean, it's not free, it's suggested donation. But if you pay for the Metropolitan Museum, you're a goddamn The Met fool. isn't free anymore. They changed I it, it's my, $25. Uh, phone now, and I'm doing like a little like seven minute workout. <laughs> <laughs> great, okay, great. <laughs> Everybody settle. We've got salad on the table, eggplant rollatini, some fresh made hummus. Amazing. What's going on? This guy, I know this guy from the uh, 80s and he hasn't aged. So okay. whether or not he's a vampire, Misty, may uh, I, he's something. May I ask you, Misty, mm. and uh, before when I mentioned your age. I'm I doing was, this. I was. Before I was scolded at by a man who tried to snort uh, human remains. So, well, you know, <laughs> let's let that sit with everyone. But uh, are you a vampire or is there a way to be no. immortal that Darling, Ronald could be a... I'm a fairy. So is, oh. is Ronald mm. possibly a fairy? Now, see... Robert. I mean, it's Robert. possible, but I have never met this man before in my life, and the fairy community in New York City is pretty tight. I mean, okay. look, I'm friends with Don Confetti, and that guy's not a great dude, but he is one of my people, you know? You've got to stick I together. Mm. Congrats. I hate to pin it to you, ma'am, but when you met him, you know this guy from the 80s. How? Uh, eh. Uh, he's... He hangs out around humans. I don't think he hangs out around, uh this type. I think he hangs out in the real world. I feel like you're not telling us something. Yeah. <laughs> so, what a How, in what context did you meet him? Did you, I don't know, get caught in a rat trap in his apartment? Oh, okay. Let's not be rude. Yeah, right? let's not... Oh, I mean, was that rude? I did, I'm on I your page. I'm sorry. I'm a Cook, we're not trying to put you in a space yeah, you don't yeah. want to be put in, but we, I mean, this is, this seems to be something. I wasn't always a rat. <gasps> what? <laughs> Dice. Guys, that's all for this chapter of Dimension 20. But wait, more full episodes call out to you from the realms beyond dropout.tv. Will you come to their aid and sign up for your free trial today? There I beheld it in aspect of a gray child that I had searched for for many long years. This being not the realm and the being, monarch of the sixth borough, the child, the gray orphan, the spirit of the dreaming realm beyond the streets of the city I had known. Mm.